guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to be giving you a flip through of Beautiful Feet's Early American History, their Intermediate Edition. You guys, a lot of you have asked me for like an in-depth flip through of uh, Early American History through Beautiful Feet, all the literature books that goes along with it. You guys have asked me a lot of questions about this in my fifth grade curriculum picks. So in today's video, you guys, I'm going to set you aside and I'm going to show you all of the literature picks for this curriculum, some literature picks that I'm going to be adding and how I am going to be doing history in my homeschool for the 2022-2023 school year. So if you guys are interested in seeing a flip through, seeing what early American history through Beautiful Feet has to offer, then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So you guys, I'm gonna make this video very informal like I did before. I'm gonna flip you guys around, show you all of the literature that I have pulled out. So let me go ahead and flip you guys around and stop all this chit chatting. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, this right here is the main guide you are going to be needing if you choose to do the early American history through beautiful feet for the intermediate grades. This literature guide right here is specifically designed for grades four through six. However, looking at all the literature, I can say this is a pretty good uh, history literature based approach for uh, early middle school as well. So if you do have kids of a variety of ages, you can definitely pull in those older kids because they do have rabbit trail books within this guide that are uh, at a higher reading level. So if you do have uh, maybe a younger element or upper elementary and like maybe a middle school student, you can definitely pair them together using this Beautiful Feet um, Early American History. So Beautiful Feet does also have an Early American History for the primary grades, uh, K through three, uh, which goes over Early American History, but not as in depth as this particular guide. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So right here in the beginning of the guide, it just shows all of the Beautiful Feet literature history guides that they have come out with thus far. So um, you guys definitely take a look at their website because they have a lot of uh, literature-based curriculums. They have the exploring countries around the world through picture books. They have so many other guides for younger elementary and they also have a lot of guides for um, high school as well. So each of the units in this early American history is broken up. So the first unit that we're going to be going over is an indigenous peoples of the United States. They have the golden age, the colonies, the revolutionary war, the young people's United States and the civil war. So I am going to be ending off early American history with my daughter this year on the civil war. So I'm going to go ahead you guys and show you all the literature pieces for each of these sections right now. So for the first section that I just read to you guys, which was the indigenous peoples of North America, we are going to be reading these books right here. Hopefully I don't butcher these names. I feel like I am, but I think it's Hawatma and the Peacemaker we're gonna be reading. We're gonna be reading People of the Breaking Dawn during uh, this uh, unit, the first unit. We're going to be reading this chapter book about the Vikings. And we are also going to be reading Children of the Longhorn. So these are going to be the books that we're going to be reading for the indigenous people of North America section. The second section is the Golden Age of Discovery. And in that section, it's only two books, which is Pedro's Journal. And this is a short uh, read. And then I also have um, Where Do You Think You're Going? Christopher Columbus as another read for the Golden Age. So when we get into the colonies, here goes the stack that we're going to be reading. Once we get into the colonies, we are going to be reading Pocahontas and the Strangers. It's the landing of the pilgrims. We're going to be reading the world of what uh, the world of William Penn. And we're also going to be reading Amos Fortune Freeman. So these are all the books in that unit. So for the Revolutionary War Unit, these are the books that we're gonna be reading. We're going to be reading A Voice of Her Own, the stories of Philly we Phyllis Wheatley. We're going to be reading George versus George. We're also going to be reading Tolliver's Secret. We're gonna be reading Why Not Lafayette. We're gonna be reading Remember the Ladies. 
and sh we're writing the Constitution in the Revolutionary War Unit. Okay, so for the Young Peoples of United States History Unit, we are going to be reading How We Crossed the West, The Adventures of Lewis and Clark. We're going to be reading Heart of the Samar Samara. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, you guys. We're going to be reading also Harriet Tubman in the Young United States series. Now for the last unit for the Civil War, we are going to be reading about linking a photo bibliography book. We're also going to be reading Civil War Drummer Boy. And then the last book in this early American history series is Seven Miles to Freedom. So that is how they actually have broken up all of the literature pieces within the Beautiful Feet. Now I want to let you know you guys this curriculum if you buy it brand new from Beautiful Feet um, it will cost you about $249. However I saved the cost by only purchasing the guide and the uh, main textbook that you're going to be using as well for only, I think these two were, I think they were either 50 or $60 for both of them. I'm gonna put the price on the screen above because I don't actually remember. So I purchased these books from the Beautiful Feet Company. However, all of my other literature books I purchased through thrift books and I either found them on Book Outlet so I collected these books throughout this school year to be able to have all of them. Now, if you want to be more economical with this, you can also check out from your local library each unit's worth of books and uh, check them out. Take them back when you go to the next unit to be able to make this curriculum be cost effective for you. I don't think you have to own all of these books to be able to do this beautiful feat early American history. Those are just some ways that I could suggest for you to be able to cut your costs on this. Now let's go ahead and get into the specifics on how this curriculum is going to work and all the moving parts now that I went over the literature. So this right here is the first section, like I said before, which is the indigenous people of North America. So right here in the beginning, it gives you a section where they have rabbit trail books. Again, like I was saying before, these rabbit trail books, if you do want to extend this to um, your upper middle school student, like let's just say if you have a seventh or eighth grader that's going to be doing it, assigning some of these more in-depth readers will definitely be a way for you to be able to use this curriculum family style with multiple grades, especially if you have older students that's going to be doing this with your upper elementary students as well. So um, this right here is the tra rabbit trail books for the Vikings. This right here is the rabbit trail books for the indigenous people. Now I do have um, Before Columbus, which is a rabbit trail book for the, indi the indigenous people's um, unit. So if I wanna pull this baby out, I definitely can pull it out. This one right here is actually on, um, I believe it's on Scribe or my Audible. So we can actually listen to this one as well. I don't have to read it. So it can kind of save me some. If we wanna pull this baby out for additional resources as the rabbit trail within each section. Okay, so this right here just starts off the section and it just gives you the lesson. It tells you the pages of the books you're gonna be reading. It gives you discussion questions. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it gives you like discussion questions that you're gonna be discussing with your child it gives you um teachable moments and things that you're going to be doing like right here it wants us to go over the continents um and to watch the seven continents on this specific youtube channel so this you're not just going to be doing and reading the literature you're going to be discussing it you're going to be uh journaling in your history timeline book and uh yeah it's a very interactive uh approach to history so i'm really excited to do this literature based approach to history um, and yeah so each of the lessons like again it goes over the same thing um, I'm not too sure the amount of time that it's going to take per lesson as we actually get into this curriculum I will be able to tell you guys like um, how long it takes us to do each lesson but for for you in order for you to complete this beautiful feat early American history within a year it said that you have to do three to four lessons a week which I think is honestly doable so here is the first section uh oh here is the first section right here that goes over 
in indigenous uh, people's history. And then at the end of each section, you guys, this is like the most exciting part, at least for my daughter. She loves cooking, is they give you some recipes that you can try out. I believe this recipe right here is from the Vikings unit. This right here is a Vikings lamb stew. Oh my gosh, you guys, this sounds so amazing. And then they also have other uh, recipes that we can do. So hopefully if I'm <laughs> not being overly ambitious after we do each unit, we can do a recipe, you guys. Like, isn't that really cool? Um, I'm not gonna try to do all of them, but at least one will be great. So that is where the indigenous people ends. And here goes the golden age of discovery. And again, it's set up exactly the same where they go over some of the rabbit trail books that they have right here. I don't have any of these rabbit trail books, but if I do wanna get some, I probably can find these easily at my local library. They have this section right here on each unit that has the crafts and projects as well. And then it goes right on into your lesson. And that is how each of the units, uh, it flows. And then here goes, this unit was a short one because again, this second unit, you were only reading two books. So um, yeah, so it's really, really cool. So now you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the rabbit trail books that I do have for the um, early American uh, history. So I can show you the ones that are really important for me to kind of like really uh, add some meat into this history curriculum. Um, I really think it's easy to customize a literature-based curriculum more than anything. And when I started off my fourth grade year, you guys, I really thought that I was going to go with America's story. And I really still believe that that's still a good history uh, curriculum to use for your um, early upper elementary, elder elementary students. However, I really was looking for something that was gonna be literature based. So that was why I decided not to do that one and to do Beautiful Feet because it's so easy for you to uh, add in different literature books, especially it kind of gives you a guide already. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead you guys and flip through uh, the rest of this guide and let you see it. And then I'm gonna show you the uh, rabbit trail. You guys, I forgot to mention there is also a section as each unit begins that's called the character connection where you're going to be going over a different character trait with your kiddos and each trait uh, has memory verses and Bible verses that you can do. Now if you prefer to use this curriculum as a secular curriculum, you do not have to use the character connection. You can still use all the literature pieces and uh, still use this without that uh, extra character portion. But if you are a Christian household like me you would definitely love uh, adding in the character connections with the character traits and the biblical aspect within this curriculum okay you guys so that is the literature guide the other book that you're going to be using every now and then is going to be a child's first a child's first book of american history now if you plan to do early or if you plan to do beautiful feet you're going to be using this book i believe for the second part of this uh unit that goes on to modern american history you will be using the same book so if you decide to do both of them i i'm thinking that i might do the second one depending on how well this one goes i already have this book right here to you. So I'm going to give you guys a quick flip through of this textbook as well. Okay, you guys, so that is A Child's First uh, Book of American History through Beautiful Feet. Again, uh, you are going to be, they are going to be referencing you in the guide to read from this book every now and then, but I really believe the basis of this curriculum is going to be through the literature. Now I'm going to show you guys my rabbit trail books that I want to do. Again, you already seen before Columbus. I have Squanto's Journey I want to add in. I also want to add in this reader right here, which is The Trail of Tears. I have The Sign of the Beaver. 
I also have The Witch of Blackbird Pond, and I have Black Heroes of the American Revolution. And these again are all rabbit trail books. And I really uh, am happy that American History Through Beautiful Feet has really done a good job with all these literature selections. I really feel like they gave um, a good variety when it comes to diversity, uh, highlighting each individual group and each individual time period so far some of their literature if you guys are noticing is kind of similar to sunlight but um yes i'm really excited about these rabbit trail books that we're going to be digging in as well now you guys i'm going to all go ahead and show you the other history curriculum that i'm going to be combining with early american history uh through beautiful feet if you see my curriculum pics uh you've seen that so let me go ahead and move this out and i'm going to show you the other history curriculum that we're going to be adding and doing along with this one okay you guys I also forgot to show you this is the early American um, history intermediate picture back picture pack that you're going to be using for your timeline notebooking as you go through each section this right here is a free PDF download that you're going to use and they're going to guide you to when you're going to cut out these pages and add them into your timeline as you guys know I have my history timeline book from school nest you guys like I am obsessed with all these school nest notebooks and I love uh, that I'm going to be able to use this one notebook as we go throughout all of history with my daughter and I really think she is going to enjoy this using this uh, history timeline notebook so um, that is the one we're going to be using if you do buy the whole pack uh, um, the beautiful feet does have another timeline book that you can use with them however I just want to be a little bit bougie and get <laughs> the one from school nest so um, yes this is also um, what you're going to what you're going to be needing to do your timeline now you guys this year we are actually doing the heritage pack from Amber O'Neill Johnson which is amazing Africa we are doing a continent study this year so I was just really excited to do another one of her packs so I picked up the heart and soul heritage pack from Amber O'Neill Johnson's from her website this is actually a PDF you guys this PDF is so affordable um, it was only I believe this PDF was only $10 for this literature guide and you are going to be using this book heart and soul so i'm really excited to be able to add this into our uh, mix as far as we're going into early american history um, with this uh, heart and soul pack the three books that we're going to be using is heart and soul we're going to be reading um stella and starlight and we're going to be also reading 40 acres 40 acres and maybe a mule are the three main literature pieces that goes along with it um, I am going to have to check out a few more picture books with this uh, series as well uh, but again this you guys is going to be a heavy history year for me because within my first two years of homeschooling I only did geography study so for our first year of homeschooling you guys I did a um, United States study where we went over all of the 50 states and then this year we're doing uh, Africa continent study so this is going to be my first time doing history with my daughter so I really feel like because we have had heavy heavy geography and science years this his, this year is going to be a heavy history year so I really just like want to beef it up you guys so um like I said before we have we are completing this amazing Africa heritage pack right now and then we're going to go into her heart and soul pack along with the heritage mom website you guys she has so many different resources I would definitely recommend you check them out um, she also has this black composer study you guys that we are also going to be doing with early American history because this composer is what is his name Les Chevrolet de Sean George I believe that's how you pronounce it he was actually very prominent during the American Revolution and since we're going to be going over the American Revolution this year I figured this is a sneaky way for me to add in this composer study as far as music and things like that along with our uh, history okay you guys I really hope this flip through of the early American history through beautiful feet has helped you kind of see all of the moving parts that this curriculum offers um, again you guys I am so excited to dive into this literature based curriculum I have been really finding in my homeschool doing like some type of literature based study especially when it comes to history and sciences has been really easy for me to incorporate throughout my days to pick up the literature books do what they have us do and it's really really simple and I'm 
finding that it's working out not only for me but for my lifestyle for my daughters and I'm really excited to take this literature based approach as we are doing history for the first time you guys I'm not gonna lie I have not been excited to do history in my homeschool until I found this beautiful feet curriculum so I'm really excited about it I cannot wait as we're starting this curriculum in the fall to kind of like up you to update you guys and like give you guys like a review on how we are liking a uh, beautiful feet um, early American history so um, if you guys have like any more questions about it hopefully I explained it well but if not just leave me your questions in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them for you um, and yeah so you guys as always thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoy if it's any more flip throughs you want to see of the curriculum choices that I picked out for my daughter for this fifth grade year let me know down below and I will be glad to do those for you as well so you guys I hope you enjoy I cannot wait to see everybody in my next one bye